Hello everyone, welcome back. I hope you all enjoyed that little mini intro before my actual intro. I thought I'd do something a little bit different and basically show you all what I'll be working on today and what the end product is. And so if you want to stick around and see how I built it, get some planning tips for in the game and also some planning tips in real life, please do. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, especially comments. I really enjoy reading all your comments and I really do read them all even if I don't necessarily comment on every single one. I still read them and I love it all. So thank you guys for watching and enjoy. Okay, so as you can see we are on the downtown island and since there's already a large open gap I thought why not just start to fill that in with uh, a casino and oh by the way I'm moving that via the move it mod if you're going to ask why or how um, so anyway since there's already a lot of space on the downtown island I thought I'd start filling it in with a little casino strip area and so I didn't want it to actually be on the main road that goes along the water line where the big park is going to be so I actually thought it was better to put it one block back simply because I didn't want all of that traffic that's on that main road to mix in with all of the casino traffic so I thought dividing it up would be the best option because for obvious reasons you don't want to make more traffic congestion so I just put it back a block just to spread it out and disperse the traffic more and oh, also you'll notice that I leave a lot of little gaps throughout this whole little casino area and that's because I want I didn't want it to be like really really high density high density area I wanted it to be open lots of trees lots of pathways grass simply because without those things it makes you feel sometimes a little bit down a little bit unhappy so and I'm thinking like if you come to a casino and you're on holidays you come to my city you're on holidays you want to be happy you want to feel good so you'll notice by the time it's finished there's a lot of trees there's a lot of pathways there's green space and I, I really like doing that and for this building that I just put in I didn't really like how it looked on its own so I thought I'd drag over that second long building and just combine them just to make it look like something more and um, I put in these little back roads but you notice I don't actually connect it it's only got one connection and that's just because since there's going to be a lot of traffic in this area in the future I don't want to create more intersections I want as little intersections as possible but still having a good flow throughout my whole city so and once again yeah lots of pathways trees and that strip that road right there on the right side that's going to be the main strip of the little Las Vegas Holly, uh, not Hollywood, <laughs> what am I talking about? It's going to be the main Las Vegas casino strip. And I love putting little rocks in because it just kind of, I don't know, it gives it a different feeling than putting in trees, just trees. I don't know. And so lots of parking, well, not much parking, but um, it's always good to have some parking, but. Um, I like to assume in this game there's a lot of underground parking that you don't see because I mean underground parking that happens a lot in real life so 
I mean, it's to be expected, so if you don't see a lot of parking spaces, please don't kill me, <laughs> because it's probably just underneath, let's pretend. And a lot of the, or some existing areas that were residentially zoned, I actually moved them, I rezoned them as commercial or office space, because they were probably going to complain about noise issues in the future anyway. So, but every time I rezone the residential, I zoned more residential somewhere else. So I tried to keep like a balance. And I guess it's kind of like gentr gentrification, I can't speak, and which happens in real life. It slowly gets modernized and people have to move away from where they lived. And so I guess my game is no exception to that method. And so I, th I think that's mainly all of the actual casino buildings I put in, but then I start to fill in with a lot of high density commercial areas which I eventually zone as the, as I'm doing here, I make the new little zone, and then I zone it as the tourist attraction, so there's going to be a lot of high, high density uh, skyscrapers that are motels and resorts, those types of things, they'll start growing any second now, and so I thought once I add in all of those little buildings that are building now, it'll kind of fill in the casino with the existing residential areas because if you see all the residential, they're basically medium density and then whereas the casino is kind of high, so by putting in those motel tourist type attraction buildings, it kind of slowly builds down towards the medium density and I'd, I'd never really like to do a really huge contrast contrast between two types of buildings. I like to, so as I was saying, you have the really high density and then it slowly goes down and down and down and down and then down to like two levels. So I like to work my way down instead of just doing a steep drop off to different density and height levels. So that's kind of like the main casino thing, area thing, <laughs> what am I talking about? Main casino area. And it doesn't really look like much now because there's not really much many cars or people walking around or public transport and yeah that actually brings me to public transport I always said I was going to do a tram and so now I I think yeah I start to put in the tram around the casino area and it goes through some of the residential areas and then of course it connects up to the cable car which you'll see in a minute and it also connects up to the transport hub of course so I'm hoping by the time I actually finish this whole city there won't actually be really any need for a residential car because they, they should be able to get pretty much everywhere and in this case I actually put the tram track through the corner of the park and the reason why I done that is because I didn't want there to be a very cliche like just tram follow the road around the corner doing the L shape so I thought why not cut through the park and then integrate a tram station in the park um, put some pathways to the tram station and I think overall putting the tram station in a park makes it seem more inviting because if the tram station is in the middle of the road, which it usually is, it kind of restricts your space and confines you to that small space because you can't move around too much because then you'll get hit by a car. So putting it in the park, I feel like it kind of makes it more inviting. I'm not sure what that path was doing there, it went really really crazy. and. I really do like this park because it, it really shows a nice contrast between the old and the new type of world and I'm glad I left it there simply because it just creates a nice little, a little um, a focus centerpiece for the park and it's just it's something different I suppose instead of just doing a rock or something in the park okay and then so I instead of doing the tram station along that road which will be quite busy in the future I just made it so it goes a couple of meters away from that road just through the park the park area and I was actually thinking like how would they get to the other side of the tram like the, the park side they'd have to walk all the way along from the left where it connects to the road so you'll see that I start I delete the tram line because it doesn't really fit so I start to do these types of roads here and they're the, um, the pedestrian priority roads but there's still car access and the reason why I done that is because the pedestrians actually didn't have a way to get to the other side of the tram station. So by adding in a little road, it creates a pedestrian crossing 
over the tram track. And I thought, since I'm doing that, why not connect those two little roads, put in some parks, uh, some, yeah, some parking spaces, and kind of make it parking space for both both the tram use and actually for the park users as well and so that'll kind of make it easy access to get to the park because they can just pass oh my god I'm getting all tongue twisted here it'll make it easy for them to park to get to the path I think I said that right and uh, once I do the park I think it'll look really really good in terms of how often I do the tram stations I have a little rule and I kind of use this rule for bus stations as well I do it every second block and it doesn't really matter how big the block is but just every second block because I don't know I just found that's what's most effective and I could never really find anything in terms of tram station or bus station density in real life I couldn't find anything about that so I just kind of made this own rule and I've always used that and I found it to be the best for me personally. I don't know, does anyone else have any uh, little tip about that? Because anything that's different from my two block tip, let me know. So yeah, the tram station is kind of that loop on the left side there and then that'll make it really accessible to the transport hub to get to the other transport facilities. And yeah, just adding in some little trees just to fill in that awkward gap between the tram station and the road. I actually added in a pathway along the side of the road just to make the road seem bigger and make a bigger path, walking space, cycling space, I guess. And then, yeah, I actually forgot about the, the tram depot completely. And I, I really didn't know where to put it until I figured I'd put it up here because that area, it's kind of an awkward space since you're so close to the on and off ramp and also that major T intersection right there next to the bridge. So I decided to put the tram station there but actually not connect the tram station to the main road. I connected it, connected it to the other side where the cable car is. And the reason why I done that is because I decided I'd connect the tram line there and I'd also make that kind of like a squarish roundabout for trams so they can catch the tram from the transport hub through the casino area area and then up to the cable car and then they can get up to the castle and the resort quite easily so it's, it's just making it more accessible I guess and I had to kind of um, move the cable car building around a little bit to actually upgrade the road you'll see that it goes a little bit weird in a second but, um, yeah, so hopefully once I've put in all, all of my transport facilities, there won't be much use by um, residential cars. It should mainly be like trucks and vans, like delivery people, things like that. And you'll start to see how I do my tram station, like I said, every second block roughly. Sometimes not always, but... Um, yeah, and then it'll go up there, and then I forgot to add in the road, I have to move the cable car thing around a little, and then it goes crazy, of course, move it back a little, there we go, upgrade, upgrade, there we go. So then, yeah, so the tram, I didn't, the tram will go up there, but I didn't make both trams, because there'll be a tram going both ways, I didn't want both trams to actually go up there, because it's not a very big area. So only the tram going clockwise will go up there, but the anti-clockwise tram will just go around the original area, as you'll see in a second. Yeah, see so it goes straight past, it doesn't go up to the tram depot. And I think that's about it, I just do some final little touches, fiddle around with the pathways, it goes crazy, and... I thought I'd do kind of like a little bit of a loop to get to the tram station right there and it, it's, it's okay I guess. I'm not sure how much traffic the tram is going to cause in the future where it connects to that main road um, that you just saw to the left a little bit and so I'm not sure in the future how that's going to look. I may have to do a tunnel for the tram or 
uh, of tram bridge really depends on how the traffic and the tram is going to interact and or I could maybe do some time traffic lights and I don't know it's going to be interesting to see how I mitigate all of the future issues okay and that's about it and yeah I think in the next episode I plan to do some fill in the, uh, the park there along the water and I'll focus on residential so I think back in that poll I done two episodes ago uh, the second most voted poll was luxury residential areas so I'll try to do a mixture of luxury and also just some ordinary residential areas and yeah we'll go from there because at this point I think I really need to do some more residential get more people coming in get some more demand even though I have the demand master but yeah you can see the little the little tram station is working quite well down there I like it it's, it's good it's a good little idea like that anyway uh, thank you all for watching I hope you enjoyed don't forget to leave a comment like subscribe especially a comment I love reading all the comments and I really do read all the comments even if I don't always reply um, but I do like reading them and I like interacting with all of you guys so anyway thank you for watching and I'll see you all in the next episode bye for now